I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for making my channel extremely helpful and a learning experience. The equation here is let f of x equals to e to the power of x and g of x equals to ln x. Find domain and range of f of g of x and g of f of x. Correct? Let's try to understand the situation. Let's first talk about the two functions. We are given f of x, which is equal to e to the power of x. If you sketch this function, what do you get? You get something like this. Exponential function is always greater than zero. Domain is all real numbers. Perfect. How about the log to the base e, which we say ln? Now that could be sketched kind of like this. Let's talk about g of x now, which is ln x. Now this function ln x can be represented as, as like this, right? Now, the question is really about composition. Let's see the two cases. So first we'll talk about f of g of x, correct? So let us say that y is equal to f of g of x. Let's say y equals to f of g of x, right? In that case, f of what is g of x? g of x is ln x. Now, if I write f of ln x, f of x is e to the power of x, x is ln x, I get e to the power of ln x. Well, that gives me, since they are inverse of one another, that gives me 1. Okay, now let's look into the domain of this particular thing. Now, as far as the domain is concerned, let's write d of x for domain. Domain is decided by the inside function. Is it okay? g of x. That is, by this value of x. And if you look into this graph, clearly, we know that x belongs to real numbers. However, x has to be greater than 0. Perfect. So that becomes the domain of this particular function. Now, how do we get the range of this function? Well, to get the range, let's look into its graph of the composite function, which is, uh, which is, uh, let me write f of g of x here. Is it okay? So that is the inside function, which we are talking about. Since the domain is greater than zero, and I'm sorry, this is x not one, very sorry, x, right? e of ln x will be x not 1. So, so what we get is a line which is uh, y equals to x, but our domain is restricted. Do you see that part? So our domain is restricted, so we get a hole here, and x can only be positive value as shown by this particular graph. So in this case, the range, the y value will be y belongs to real numbers, where y is also greater than 0. Do you get that idea? So that is how we are going to solve this part of the equation, right? Now let's look into the other part, which is g of f of x, correct? Now let's talk about g of f of x. So when it is g of f of x, I could write this as, let's write y equals to g of what? f of x is e to the power of x. Now that gives me, g is ln x, so it gives me ln e to the power of x. Perfect. Now here, again, what is the domain? Domain is not decided by e to the power of x. Well, let me rewrite this as x, right? This is reciprocal function. However, we know the restriction. Now, domain in this case will be what? Now, e to the power of x, as you can see, has no restrictions, right? So it is x belongs to real numbers. Perfect. And as far as the range is concerned, let me write r for range. Since 
we could have all the values which are positive, right? So for all positive values, however small it is, never zero. For range, we get this kind of a graph. I mean, all values, perfect. So, so the range is y belongs to real numbers. So in this case, there are no restrictions at all. Now I'll leave you this exercise to sketch for you to do, but and then actually you can pause the video, sketch this particular graph, and then check with your own solution. So take a minute to sketch. Okay, what do we get? Well, in this particular case, we have no restrictions, so we get the line which is y equals to x. Do you see that part? So we get a line which is y equals to x. So this is g of f of x, correct? It goes through the origin as seen here in this particular diagram. So that is a huge difference. So in one case, when the inside function has a restricted domain, we have composition with restricted domain. But if the inside function does not have that restriction, then we may not have that restriction on the whole thing. I hope that point is absolutely clear. Now, once again, thanks a lot for this particular question. For all my subscribers and viewers, feel free to write comments and share your views. If you really like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks a lot and all the best.